All right, a good day, everybody. Welcome to day three of the World Championship for Rendezvous Open Class Championship right here in downtown Anchorage. I'm your host for the Fur Rendezvous, Kel Casey here. We've got people lining in the streets everywhere. Yeah, here we go. How's our VIP section Five today? Minutes. Five minutes yeah. Woo-hoo. You guys ready? Next year, make sure you're these guys. Here we go. Yeah. Everybody in downtown Anchorage is ready for a dog party. There's people forever. Where are you guys from? Anchorage. All right. So we're just four and a half minutes away from the race. Reverse start today. There's Mike Parker. Here are the Northern Lights. We still got some time here. How are we doing, everybody? Yeah. Get you guys looking good. Yeah. Woo, look at us. Right on, looking good on the live feed here, folks. Welcome to Anchorage, Alaska, the home of mushing worldwide here, downtown Anchorage. Beautiful day. Look at the Hilton today, friends. Clear skies, clear towers in Anchorage. 15 degrees this morning. 17 teams, reverse start for the Open World Championship. Buddy Streeper's in the lead. He'll go last. We'll be over Court Overhill for the second half of the race. So tune back in. Oh my gosh, we have people from all over here. You ready? Say hi. Who's online today? Everybody. Yeah. Good to see ya. Say hello. Right on. Here we go. So the teams are getting already back here, friends. They'll come up and two minute intervals. So two minutes between teams. We're three minutes away. Look at the gorgeous view down fourth half. 25 mile race today for the running of the this is the 70th or so running of the Ferrari since 1946. This historic race Three minutes. Three minutes. has changed lives. Watching it, being a part of it, celebrating dogs, celebrating the mushing culture here in Alaska. There's Hugh Neff, ready to go. How you doing, brother? That's my favorite kill in the world. <laughs> Are you ready for today? You gonna wear your Sam I Am hat? Oh yeah, brother. Not very long. Let's be real, folks. Learn to take care of your ears. Is right, one. exactly. It's colder today. What'd you learn from your dogs yesterday? They did do. They look great. Yeah, yeah. And what kind of dogs are these for everybody at home? Uh, they're Jim Lanier's, Northern Whites, Jim Lanier's, uh, Right on. I'll go show everybody the dogs. Good luck today. Here's Anchorage Fire Department. This is how the sled gets held. This is how it's done here in Anchorage. We have our protectors who protect us from floods, fires, and everything else come out here with the kids. We have our race deck crew here. Ravenwood Veterinary helping out. And then we got all of our fans everywhere again. Oh yeah, here they are. Three minutes, here we go. Look at those beautiful dogs. Yeah, how it up. Beautiful these dogs. They want to go. Let us know where you're from and who you're cheering for here, friends. Hi, baby. <laughs> definitely, definitely beautiful huskies here. Hugh Neff, first time. He's a rookie. Thanks so much, everybody, for all the support, for the musher support. This is a beautiful community of people from all over the world. There's experts on this feed. If you have a question, please ask it. If you're an expert, please help answer. We have previous champions watching this race. We're 60 seconds away from day three. They <sighs> <laughs> just want to go. I just want to go. Oh, 
All right, day three, here it is. $55,000 prayers. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Yeah! <laughs> there goes UNEF, team number one, friends. The slowest team from yesterday starts first. Your fastest team is going to start last today. That's called a reverse start. It makes racing really exciting. There goes the team down fourth half, beautifully maintained by the Anchorage municipality and everybody who helped out making 4th Ave in downtown Anchorage, Alaska, a beautiful event. 25 mile race, here we go. Team number two, Dave Turner from Fairbanks, Alaska. He had 14 dogs out front on the first day, 11 dogs yesterday. Switching around his leaders. Thanks to everybody with all the comments and all the love out there. We are all in this together, the celebration of dog power, our dog community, the traditions here. And look at these guys, they want to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that dog is a happy lead dog right there. Fully confident. These are mostly Alaskan Huskies out of Fox, Alaska, north of Fairbanks. Dave Turner, more of a mid-distance musher. Second slowest team yesterday. There's essentially three teams of Alaska Huskies here. This is one of them. Hans Gott and Hugh Neff have the other two. Most all the rest are more open class dogs, more houndy dogs. 15, 15 seconds. Dave Turner starting with eight dogs. Five, four, three, two, one, go. There we go. Look at that rooster tail for Dave. He is kicking down his mat and break, making sure to keep that line out. The goal out of the start is just to keep the dogs from getting tangled. They got to go across all those streets, take a turn on Cordova, head out on their route. So remember, you're following along on the radio from here. KR 590 AM, you're following along on the radio. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Next team up is going to be Mitchell Jacobson. He's our youngest musher. He's from Northwest Territory, Canada, and took his family's here, and they've been working seven years to get here. 23-year-old musher. Took seven years to breed all the dogs. There he is standing with his father, Jackie. Having that special moment with his lead dogs right now. Talked to Mitchell earlier. Very surreal for him to be here on day three, living his dream. Waited a long time to be here. There we go. We'll get a good look at these guys. Beautiful sled dogs. There's Mitchell's father, Jackie. Right there, he's just waving to his family and everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Pro D for us in Tuck. Yeah, we're going to do our best. Mitchell's doing good. Right on. There you go. Everybody's cheering you on. Youngest musher in the race today, 24 year old rookie. If he completes today, he is no longer a rookie. You have to finish all three days of the Fur Rendezvous to, to move on from your rookie status. So here he is living his dream. Running seven dogs today. Five, four, three, two, one, go! There he is on his break right there. You can see the snow flying. You can see his right foot right there, keeping that mat down. You want to take it nice and paced. You, the whole idea of the Ferrana is it's a fast run, but you have to pace. The mushers are allowed to use GPS. They're allowed to listen to the radio. But the rule of thumb is if you go out too fast and let the dogs run fast in the first five miles, you're going to pay the price in the last five miles. So it's a really tricky race that way. All right, here we go. Nikki Sayo from Seoul, South Korea and Seoul, Alaska. Nikki on his fourth uh, rendezvous here. 
and I met him years ago at the World Championship in Fairbanks. 2013 is when I met Nikki. There he is, coming around, so, uh, having a moment. It's always special to start time with these two minute intervals. Mm -hmm. Mushers get to have time with their dogs. Thank them for all the hard work. Congratulate them on their getting here. Look at these guys, happy dogs. Yeah, it was about 15 degrees. It feels like it's warming up and touching the sunshine here. Great handlers, everybody helping out. There we go. Deanna, Barto, right on. Hey guys. There's our real dogs. There's Nikki. Anchorage Fire Department helps out every year there. They have to hold that sled. You don't want to false start on day day three here at the, at the Rondi. <laughs> Right on, Nikki. There you get the thumbs up. Bib number 14, member slowest teams first today. So if you're waiting on the top three or top five, they're coming up here in about eight more teams or so. So we're really excited about today because we're going to have a great Cordova Hill and a great finish like yesterday. Hopefully you're catching all the footage. It's there for you on YouTube. And again, we want to thank all of our sponsors. You can see their placards up and down the 4th Ave here, but there's our sponsor list. All right, let's spin around. Look at that blue sky, friends. Oh my gosh, is it beautiful. Downtown is so gorgeous today. Mandy Johnson, she made the Anchorage Daily News today. They were, uh, if you have the subscription to the paper or pick one up, you'll see an article about the rendezvous in here. She's a rookie. And there's only been a few dozen women who have ever run this race. So she's one of the proud, strong, brave women out here with her children, her family. It is fantastic. There's been over 400 men who've run this in the past 70 years, but only a few dozen women. So we're really excited for the future. There they go, fixing a tangle there. And we got a talker there, don't we? <laughs> this is one of Mandy's children helping out with the dogs. There's another one. <laughs> Say hi. And there's Arm and her husband with the lead dog. Text him. Okay, 25 seconds for bid number 13, Mandy Johnson. White Horse Yukon, Canada. 15. Looks like she's running nine dogs today. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And here they go. There she is, Mandy Johnson, bib number 13 out of the Yukon. Rookie year, she finishes today. She enters the history books again as one of the very few women to complete and compete in this race. We hope to see her many more times and then her children after her. Great to see everybody's comments here. Thanks for joining us. Let us know where you're from, who you're cheering for. This is like a living scrapbook for the mushrooms. Marvin Cochran's been running this race for 47 years. Here he is. Marvin started racing the Rondi as a teen in 1975. There he is talking to his lead dogs. Just gave him a little head tap there. <laughs> and now they're excited. <laughs> they want to go. <laughs> yeah. Good and ready to go. How great is that? Beautiful day to be racing dogs here in Anchorage. Most teams will take just under two hours. Some teams will go faster than that, of course. So it's just a 25 mile run today. Wow. Those lead dogs are excited. 
15 seconds for Marvin Cochran, day three. North Pole, Alaska. Marvin Cochran, a crowd favorite over the years. Retired now, but works really hard with his dogs. Heading down 4th Ave. Beautiful team. Look at all the people lining up the streets here and down. All the way down. Downtown well, Anchorage looks awesome. Yeah, Mountains in the background. The first day, 14 dogs nice snow. Day, 14 Trail should be good. Love to see all the hearts there. Marvin will too. Right on. Alright, let's see who's up next. He began mid-distance racing. Switched the open class of 2020. His last year's finish was eight. He'd like to be in the top ten this year. Sponsored Bob Wolf with Two Dance Wild. Seven. That's right. Frank's up now. Frank Haberman. He has been really putting up an impressive race this year. He's going to probably move up today. Yes, he had a great run. At the line, that's Frank Haberman, and he's coming up to one minute. One minute. Right on, everybody at home. Share the feed, turn up the volume for your dogs. <laughs> it's a dog party here. Those are those beautiful blue eyes. As you can tell you, these are the fastest dogs in the world. You can see how quickly they're going to keep them running at that speed. And Much uh, quieter team here. To stay up front, make the command to go through the ball, make the right left turn. Yeah, you want to so go, don't you? Necessary speed up to keep the running point. Frank Hagerman at the line, 30 seconds. Thank you. Look at that focus. Leaning in the harness, wanting to go. Give me the trail. Give me the trail. Right, dogs? Just give me the trail. That's all they want. <laughs> that is some excited. Four, three, two, one, go. There you go, it's Dr. Frank Haberman there. Splits his time between Clam Gulch and Australia where he works. Next had a big line. winner in Clam Gulch, he which is Don McKinney. Had a lot of uh, grooming to do. He did a lot of work by himself. He has 50 dogs in the yard. From Quiet, dedicated man. There you go. Nice temperature today. Looks like it's warming up. We're on team number 10 already. Can you believe it? It starts to go fast here, friends. Don Cousins up next. Cousin Dong. Cooker Creek, Alberta. Everybody loves Cousin Don. <laughs> Look at these guys. Yeah, are you excited? So you can see the pointer spots, the German tray hair pointer and pointer type dogs get bred into these open class dogs. They are excited up at the front end here. Cousin Don. Right, right at 24.7 miles, friends. 24.7 miles. John Cousins screaming out. Those lead dogs always love to start Don on the left side of 4th Ave here. Three days in a row now. If you go back and watch the other starts. And they are available on YouTube. Check it out. They love that left side. But they're moving along nicely. Don Cousins. He wanted to give a big shout out to his wife who was having some health issues. And we all want to give a shout out too from the Ferrandi family. Wendy Callis. All right. From Fairbanks, Alaska. Here we go, Wendy. 
Bib number nine. She's running eight dogs today out of Fairbanks. Having a good run so far, giving her lead dog some love there. Oh, I know. Just tell everybody. <laughs> These lead dogs, you can tell they are focused. They have a job to do and they become the pace setters. They have to have incredibly strong heads to go over the parks, bridges, culverts, through tunnels, past tourists everywhere, down the streets. Oh, we got a bouncer. That's right, we got the bouncer. <laughs> Remember the bouncer from yesterday? Cheerleader? How great is that? <laughs> That's some happy dogs right there. This is a dog party of epic proportions here. These dogs have a VO2 max, well over 200, friends. They are ready to run three plus minute miles. They feel good doing it. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Wendy Cow is out of Fairbanks looking great. Nice smooth start. Happy dog team, let's cheer her on. Let's hope she has a good clean run. Beautiful view down Maybe fourth out, just stunning. Years old. Best finish in the run is fourth. Just stunning conditions here, friends. Please come next Maybe year, join us here in Anchorage. 12, it's just such a fun party. There's so many activities all weekend. Last night was fireworks. They had outhouse races, ice sculptures, all sorts. All right, Andy, Andy Hewton here. Andy Hewton. Out of Nana, looking to have a great run. There he is. Good to see you, brother. We always love Andy's energy. Talking with lead dogs. Oh, boy. Oh boy. He's got some streeper lines in here, the smaller uh, open class dogs with shorter hair. Fast, fast hounds. You see how focused his lead dogs are? Just focused. And again, the third dog race, we have everything from three, five, seven year old points, so as you can start with a lot fewer than this. If you want to, after the last the third dog the race association, you're invited to be good looking dog team seconds. here. We got some cheerleader dogs in the back. He's running quite a few dogs today. 12 dogs for Andy. 15. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Right on, Andy, with that nice focus, heading down. Looking to have a good day three here. He always has a good smile on his face. He oh, enjoys wait, what he does. He has a lot of young team. dogs in here. Again, thanks to all of our sponsors, Linden, Tudor Bingo, Coca-Cola Alaska, so many more, Rasmussen, Astro the club. Wow. Making this all work here, friends. We are moving right through the order. Bib number seven, Alex Crittenden, a favorite from Bondurant, Wyoming. She started day one with 18 dogs. I believe she's running 13 today. Making her final adjustments there, a little neckline change. There's our race marshal, Janet, up to the right there, watching. Everybody's being great today, great fans. Right on. Good look on you. Are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Good looking team here. Are you excited too? Are you running alone today? Yeah. We have to go, Alex. 
shit right there. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at all this focus. Dogs looking down the trail, ready to go, ready to get in their nice Four, rhythm. Three, two, one, go! Alex Crittenden from Bondra, Wyoming, having a nice smooth start there. And that brings Hans out to the line, his time 188.54 for two days of racing. Keep an eye on her, she can move up today. There's a lot of close times, friends. A lot of really close times. So it's going to be a tight finish here. Yesterday was incredibly exciting. We're getting into our top six here, friends, so share the feed. Let's get some more folks keyed up on this because this finish of these top six teams today is going to be awesome. Close times. Lots can happen. There's Hans Gotts getting a hug. Talking to his lead dogs. Last year he got on the podium in third with his Alaskan Husky team. He was in the hospital in December with a perforated intestine from grooming accident. Here he is just a couple months later. You can see he's got extra necklines on his back there giving his huskies one minute right on happy to see their dad giving each the dog a little hug look at how happy these dogs are he said that they really impressed him yesterday Happy. He just doesn't want to be right though. He just doesn't want to be right. He has to be wrong. Big string of dogs. This is wife Susie right there. Are you excited? Do you want to tell anybody? Five, four, three, two, one. There he is. Look at that competitor right there. Again, recovered from a major injury in December, was in the hospital in White Horse. And here he is. Sixth position, looking to move up. Hans Gotts and his Alaskan Husky team. Yukon Quest winner, long distance musher, open class musher, successful at everything he does. I've been to his house a couple times up there in White Horse Boy. They work hard, he and Susie, keeping their trails open, keeping the houses warm, and all that is what helped him get out of the hospital and on the trail. Tony Blanford up, folks. Tony Blanford's running the B team of the Streepers. So if you're following the Streeper kennel and you love Buddy, this is his B team. Tony Blanford with 14 bounce out front, 186.13, his first two days time. There's those Streeper dogs, small, compact, beautiful. <laughs> You're a loud one. Highly conditioned dogs, they want to go. There's Buddy giving Tony a little guidance here, bidding for five. He'd like him to get on the podium today, I'm sure. That's Tony's goal, too. Let's look at these real dogs. Tony Blair for bid number five, looking to head up today to the podium if you can. Last year he had one of the fastest track days with the Streeper B team, so it's completely possible that Tony makes this happen. He's got to have a clean run. There were moose out there yesterday. There's always the problem with potential spectators and loose dogs and all the craziness of 25 miles in anchors. But if he has a good run, keep an eye on that team. They got power, speed. They can move here. Gary Markley dropped a couple positions yesterday. 
but he admits, and I know Gary well, day two is the hardest day. Day two, you got to shake off, come back, put it back together on day three, and see where your dogs stack up. So he's got some new leaders out there. He's got a seven-year-old on his team who's leading. That's KP Parto up there on the front. Okay. One minute. Yeah. Oh, it's Andrew up there. Yeah, it's Andrew. Andrew. Gary's partner and a veteran of the race and her lead dog's there. Which is a seven-year-old? Which is a seven-year-old? This guy. Seven-year-old leader. Look at that beautiful dog. Yeah. You got experience helps around here. You got to have the confidence to navigate all the challenges. 30 seconds. Gary Markley. It's getting real exciting here, friends. We're in the top four of starts. Reverse start today. So that makes the finish super exciting. 15. There you go. There's the seven-year-old leader leaping up saying, I got this. Let's do it. Give me that trail. Five, four, yeah. three, <laughs> two, one, go. Awesome. There you go. Okay. okay, he's got him straightened out. There you go. The That's why it's important. Now, Michael Tessner from Bird, Germany, the Tessner Racing Farm, 57 years old. Got to use that break out of the start. You can see Once how excited the dogs are. Sometimes they want to jump over the line. That almost happened with that excited seven year old lead dog, but he's got a clean run right now. Good luck, Gary Markley. Hope to see you racing up Cordova. All right, Michael Tessner having a great Rondi. Travels every year with his family from Germany. Look at those big, strong hound dogs. Pointer cross, Euro hound, Scandinavian hound, whatever you want to call them. These are the open class dogs. They're different than Alaskan Huskies. They have Alaskan Husky in them, but they also have a lot of pointer. <laughs> Look at that beautiful muscle structure, beautiful short coats, excited. Got those floppy hound ears. Look at that beautiful eyes, beautiful bodies. These are open class sprint dogs. They're well adapted for warmer days because they have the shorter hair. They don't have a double coat. All these dogs are running a nice X-back harness. They all have necklines. That's part of the rules. Fantastic looking dog team here. I know Michael's excited talking to Janet. Hoping to have a run that keeps him on the podium. Now they're talking. They understand 30 seconds. Michael's wife up front with three dogs. He's got something to say now. Five, four, three, two, one, go! There he is, Michael Tetzner, heading out with the green puppy. He had a great run on Cordova yesterday. Wow, look at that, nice smooth team. Michael intends to continue racing this year up in Fairbanks at the Open North American and the Tope Race of Champions. He's fully dedicated. Look at him go. Right on. All right. Greg Taylor from the famous Taylor Mushing family. His brother and family give it all. Ricky working his tail off, getting these dogs trained, getting these dogs conditioned. Greg Taylor going down from 16 the first day to 13, the second day down to 10 dogs today. We have number two, so next up is Buddy. This is going to be good. Look at all these great handlers helping out. One minute at the line. Focus there. All the Taylors and all their friends helping out. There's Ricky right there looking good. He's put so much energy. Greg's wife, the whole family gives it their all. They had a good clean run today. That's all you can ask for at the Rondi. Yeah, a little yawn there, the excitement, the focus. There's Greg, just nice and relaxed. He's got 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. 
There he is. He's gonna start stepping on his sled right there. See that? That's what it looks like to stand on the runners and all these dogs out there. Ten dog team for the Taylors today. He had a very fast time, tied yesterday. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Here they go, they're exploding. They're exploding. Greg Taylor right there. Exciting. Okay, streepers are coming up, friends. Here they are, the whole family and their crew. These are the fastest dogs on the track the last two days. Nice light, small frame dogs again. See how nice and light they are? Perfect conformity. Highly trained, incredible VO2 max in these dogs, probably in the 230 range. They can run. There's Bud right there, welcome to his dogs. Each dog gets a visit there. Buddy said yesterday he was going to trim down two dogs today. Not that they can't do it, but he wants the team to be manageable and fast. There he is, having a moment right there. His daughters, we had a good interview with them yesterday. Thirty seconds on the clock for Buddy. Fast, light, strong, smart dogs. They know their job. They know who they're here to run for, and that's themselves as much as their musher. They love to run. Five, four, three, two. One, go! Look at that defending world champion, nine time world champion. <laughs> Buddy Streeper getting the crowd all pumped up down there. There he goes, remember Kahar, 590 AM. Buddy waving all the crowd there. He started day one with 20 dogs in the line. Day two, 18 dogs. Day three, today, 16 dogs. Look at him surfing down the road there, having some fun, getting that sled worked in there. And now, you need to be on KHAR 590. Follow on the radio. We'll head over to Cordova and cover all that soon. Look at all the people filing out of here. Downtown, Anchorage, people everywhere. They're all going to go to different events now. Thanks to all the sponsors. My God, you make this whole city awesome for this week and beyond. We really all celebrate kind of the breaking of winter here. This is where the sun's getting warm again, coming back. People are all gathering. Got friends in from everywhere. What do you think of that? That was awesome. First time up here at the Rondo? First time ever up here. Looking for Clinton. <laughs> I know. Where's Clinton? He's, he's not around. <laughs> right on. Let me close this out. I'll, um, here we go. Just everybody take it in and come back next year. There's your banner. That's what you want to be looking for. You want to be looking for the Fur Rendezvous banner next year. There's the Mushing Museum and Headquarters. All this. The radio is going on right up there. And again, without our sponsors, there's no chance at holding this race. So I want to thank everybody on this list. Ravenwood Veterinary did all the work with checking on the dogs. Linden, North Slope Telecom gave us the phones and radios to use to communicate. Coca-Cola Alaska, Steve Cole, Rasmussen, AAA Fence, Pet Emergency Treatment Incorporated, Tudor Bingo, Alaska Hydrax, Alaska Advanced Dentistry, Atwood Foundation, Alaska Dog Center, and Alaska Sled Dog Racing Association. We really appreciate it. All these people on the street who come from all over the world appreciate it. And it's just a great day. Let's Rondi. We'll go ahead and thank you all for the great comments. Appreciate all your support to all the mushers and the dogs out there. We'll see you on Cordova Hill.